Okay, today we are going to show you how to do the smart setting on the LED mo video, uh, mo module. It's a PO tutorial. Firstly, we need to click the configuration. Here, click the smart setting. Here, the module microchip we need to input the ICM 2053. That's the chip of our LED module. And then come to the data type. It's a parallel drive. And come to the module information. Module type is regular. And then input the quantity of pixels of each LED module. Is 24 by 24 pixels and the row decoding is 5958 decoding the working mode of receiving car is normal and for the ghost control sign select this option of height and come to the next Okay, we will need to uh, make the move according to how the LED display reacts. Right now, the LED screen is displaying full black. So we need to select the full black here. Next. And then, look, firstly, look at the, the four pieces smaller, the, the, the smaller square on the right up corner of the LED screen, it's uh, showing blue color. So we need to select the blue color here, and then red color, and then green color, and then black. Next. Okay, still we need to look at the smaller square on the right up corner of the LED screen, it's actually show um, 16 lines of LED. That's light on. So input the number 16 here. Next. And right now, take a look at the LED screen. On the right up corner, it's just one LED line that's lighting on so input the number one here next okay come to this interface we need to take a look at every screen and then indicate which LED is light on so it's exactly the first one the, the first LED or the first row so indicate here, and then now it's the, um, the second LED of the first row, lighting on. So indicate here, and then continue to indicate the bright spot on according to the LED screen and right now take a look at the LED screen the small square on the right up corner is the first LED of the second row that's light on so indicate here and then just make the move According to how the LED display reacts, okay, completed drawing running line. Next, so far the setting smart setting is completed, and then we can save the file to the desktop. Give it a name, 99. Now, save it to the desktop. 
Okay, here, give it the name again, 99, and save it. Save. Okay, close it. Okay, let's take a look at every screen. The LED module is working right now, but we will make the LED cabinet working. Come to the interface again. Our LED cabinet is 128 pixel by 128 pixel, so we need to put the right, correct number here. And then more setting, click the more setting here. Select the symmetrical or data group extension. Select the output mode to be symmetrical output. Okay. And then come to the data group exchange as well. Let's um, take a look at the LED screen. The data went like um, got something wrong, so we need to put it back to the to normal. Okay. Here. First, you need to select the Enable Data Exchange. We are now exchange the data from the right to the left. Okay. Apply or oh, send. Let's see how it works on the LED cabinet. Okay, same perimeter to the hardware. 